faster genetic change. Pork and poultry producers have always had an advantage in this area, but the rapid advancement of genomics technology in the last decade helps cattlemen make quicker progress. Many are using it indirectly today. Folks that are purchasing yearling bulls that have been genomically tested, you know, the risk involved in the potential change in, the, in those animals' genetics, or at least the characterization of that, uh, the risk is much less. EPDs are always changing as more information is available, but using DNA tests help decrease that amount of change. And for a trait like calving ease, for example, a bull with, with, with pedigree data and its own record and those sort of things might have an accuracy of, of around 20%. Uh, and that with genomic testing that might go to 40 percent. The difference in that in percent calving ease uh, genetics might be two or three percent difference and if we see two or three percent less assisted calvings that's a lot less labor, a lot less calf survival, uh, a lot more passive immunity through colostrum intake, better calf health. You know I, th I think the, the little difference there in that one value on that bull and getting the right one purchased uh, can really pay off for the producer. Some commercial cattlemen are already using genomics to fine tune their cow herd more quickly. If we think about the value of, of replacement heifers today, you know, what's the cost of a bad decision of keeping the right heifer versus the wrong heifer? If, if a relatively simple tool is able to better characterize those heifers and describe them not only for some traits that are easy to measure, but some traits like like tenderness or fertility that are very difficult to measure in a commercial setting, there's certainly some good information there that producers can factor into their selection decision. Like most technology, Mosher says genomics are providing greater value at the lower costs as time goes on, which gives all segments from purebred breeder to commercial rancher to feeders a chance to benefit. There's no telling what that gen genetic information might mean for the overall industry and ultimately the product that ends up on someone's plate. I'm Cindy Campbell.